What's up? It's your favorite gaming ninja, Dark Shinobi. Today is a special video. I'm making it for a friend. They wanted to check out my deck. To uh, I've been having trouble getting past rank 18. I'm about two months into uh, Hearthstone. Um, played uh, maybe like a year and a half ago. Got up to rank 19 before. And um, didn't re really get into the game too much. Played for like three weeks. Got back into it two months ago. March 2017, I hit rank 14. It's the first time I've been past rank 18, and I did it with this deck right here. Um, I'm actually going to change it back to what actually got me up to rank 10. I took out the early, and we're going to put in another auctioneer. Let's just do this here. There we go. Had in two auctioneers, and... That is the deck. This is the deck that took me from 19 to 14. Um, had some ups and downs around 15 to 16, but uh, it, it got me there. So this is the deck here. Um, and the main objectives of this deck is to don't play all your cards uh, turn one through four. Um, and it's also not a bad thing. It's a, it's a Mali deck. But if you get in your first hand, it's not a bad thing. You just know you have to survive to turn nine. And if Mally's in your first hand, you keep a preparation. You make sure you save your auctioneer or your burly. So you, on that turn nine or turn eight, you combo and kill them. There's been so many times going up against freeze mages where they've got me down to like four health. And I, they think I'm worried. Turn eight. Uh, use a counterfeit coin, bring out Mali, preparation, um, Sinister Strike, preparation, um, what is it? What's the other one I'm looking for? Really? I am recording. <laughs> I can't remember the freaking name. Uh, Sinister Strike and uh, the one that can do four. Yeah, right there. Bust out one of those on turn eight, and of course, hopefully you've done some damage uh, in trading. Um, usually, uh, I don't do anything first turn. Second turn, I uh, hit my hero power, attack for one, save the other one for when they have a minion out. Hopefully, I get. Um, hopefully, I go second, hit a coin into uh, ringleader here, um, just to put something on the board. Uh, I use shiv to draw. I don't care if I kill anything with it. Uh, Edwin is kind of like um, around like turn five. If I have nothing on the board, I try to get him out at least as a six six just to hold them off. As a, uh, it's not really a soft taunt. But I try to use it as a soft taunt um, to take out opposing minions. Shadow strike and backstab. Um, I try not to use my direct damage. Um, my other burn damage cards for minions. Um, I try to save them for the hero. If I think this mage has um, Reno. Oh, okay. So I got two different Reno stories. The first Reno story, I got the motherfucker down to one. He had ice block. Next turn, he... Re oh, no, no. That, that's the good story. The bad story. I got him down to like five or six. He reno me. I had used all my damage cards except like two i had two preparations in my hand a counterfeit coin i could not draw that damage card but either way it wouldn't have mattered because mally had just died um and it was a sinister strike so at most in the deck if i had mally two azura drakes in uh blood mage that'd be five four i mean five six seven eight Plus the three, yeah, I wouldn't have took 30 health. Now, the other Reno story is I Reno him, uh, I, I took his health down to one because of Ice Block. Next turn, he Reno's up to 30 health, but he made the mistake of keeping an Azura Drake. Uh, uh, what was it? Azura. I, ju I had just put one on the turn before, so I had two Azuras. I had pretty much what I just said two Azuras, um, Blood Mage. I summoned Mally. Now, mind you, he renoed on my after my turn uh, eight. So this is turn nine. 
I got two Azores on the field. I got Blood Mage. I Mally, Prep, uh, Eviscerate, um, Counterfeit Coin, uh, Sinister Strike, and I think I had Shiv. Fuck them up. And then I attacked. So, I, I, t I did 30 health in the turn is what I'm saying. If, if that didn't equal it, trust me, I won. Uh, matter of fact, I took a picture of it. Trust me. I wish I recorded it. Reno didn't mean shit in that game. But anyway, this is a deck that took me up to rank 14. Um, I'm just recording this now, but what I can do is take the screenshots and stuff off my phone, add them to this video when I put it on YouTube, and you see I hit rank 14 last month, March 2017. Today is April 5th, 2017. Just got the brand new um, Rokanosaur from Ungaro from the Daily Login. I'm going to be putting that in my uh, Jade Golem deck just to test it out. I want to see the adapt mechanic, and uh, he can adapt twice. His Battle Cry lesson adapt twice. Um, I'll add in a rank 14 pick I have and a Reno pick I just told you about. Um, I took it real quick or tried to. Where is it at? Oh, play. I don't even see it. Hold on, wait. I don't think I was playing on my phone. I think I was playing on my laptop, so it shouldn't be a screenshot. Here it is. Come on. Let me get my screen to rotate. Boom. You know I'll script my videos, so whatever. So I can't see what you can see. I'm just gonna try to put it up to the camera. But you can see my burly bully there. That's one Azora Drake. There's oh I had Barnes who got me um uh Azora. And that is the uh this card here. Poison mine. That is Blood Me Thanos, and that's a Jade Golem. I don't remember how I got a fucking Jade Golem. Uh, oh, duh, duh. Um, Jade Shuriken. So I have one. I have all seven. I have seven uh, minions on the field. I still have a Shadow Strike in my hand. Wait. One, two, three, four, seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, that's another Zor. Yeah, so Mali's not even on the field, so I remember that wrong. I won, I did 30 damage without Mali on turn 9. You can see it says 0. Eight? That fucking went on turn eight? And it says 20 because that's um that was two days ago. <sighs> April 3rd. But anyway. I don't care. It's not recorded. You cannot believe me. By fucking one on turn eight. I thought it was nine. On turn eight. After he renoed. So, so, really, I did fucking 60 damage by turn 8. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? That's fucking crazy. Alright, that's that. Again, this video was just to... So, I can have... Somebody on my friends is just um, having trouble not getting past level 18. I recently done it for the first time. Got all the way up to 14. And uh, this is the deck here. So we got two backstabs, two counter for coins, two preparations, sinister strikes, uh, blood mace Thanos, uh, the Fias ringleader, the restorate, Jade Jerkin, Shiv, Edwin, Fantas, uh, Fan of Knives, one head crack, and it seems like 20. One game I played head crack at least six times, and it won me the game. Um, when you get head crack, Late game, even if Mally died or has never come out, you can every turn just pop head crack um, for two damage at least. Uh, so if they have taunts on the field, if you can hold them off, head crack really does help. And it helps you combo with other cards as well. Um, Shadow Strike, 
Barnes. If your opening has has a preparation and a counterfeit coin, or you get the coin because you went second, and Barnes is there, pop Barnes turn four. Pretty much in every scenario, because if you get Mally, if if your next turn if on turn four, if you draw a damage card, and Barnes gets Mally, you're gonna scare the shit out of your opponent, and one out of four times they might quit that turn. Just because they know Mally's in your deck and you you couldn't have a chance of getting him again. That's happened to me a couple of times. Um, uh, Poison Mine here is really good. If you get the damage card or you get a draw card. And I like to pop him if, um, right before Auctioneer. So if you do get a draw card, it costs all his spells that he can give you. It costs one. Pop him with Auctioneer. The draw card gives you two. The damage card gives you a draw with Auctioneer. Does two damage with Azura Drake. Does three. With Mali does six. No. Mali does seven. Because it does two damage. Um, or you can uh, return a card to your hand. It costs two less. You can make a minion stealth. You can add three to your attack. So this is really good. And you get two because you get one on Battle Cry and one on um, Death Rattle. Got two Azura Drakes in the deck, which will, will rotate out once Ungaro hits. And all I'm going to do is take the two Azura Drakes out. And I'm going to add in two Polluted uh, Hoarders. You won't get the spell damage, but to be honest, I don't use them for spell damage. That, that's kind of like a backup or bonus. I use them for the draw. So Polluted Hoarder, um, good trade. Still got four in his attack. He's going to die quick, get that Death Rattle, draw a card. Um, I might replace him with something from Ungaro, but as long as I get that draw card, I need that draw card. Um, Burly, Bully, Burly Bully, which you saw I had switched off. I'm trying to use one Auctioneer and use him at the right time and have two Burly Bullies to make sure I always have a counterfeit coin to, um, to do my combos with. Also, that six defense helps. When you're fighting fucking Druids and they can swipe your Azura Drakes, they can swipe your damn Auctioneer, they can swipe everything you put out. That shit is annoying. So Burly Bully, he can live up to that. Also when you're fighting mages and they play the the one spell, do four damage to all minions, Burly Bully stays on, you get a coin, and if they want to destroy another spell destroy it, you get two. Um, and then of course, Auctioneer, we spoke about him already, and then Mally. Mally! Plus five damage. So let's see. Shiv. Least damage in the deck. Now does six damage. You know how many times it look for uh, uh Murlocs won this morning, actually. Um actually the person I'm doing this video for was using a Murloc Paladin deck. And uh I had eight health. Well she took me down to eight health because she used the any fin or whichever one that brings out seven more Murlocs that died. And I'm like, oh shit. And then I draw this. Fan of Knives. Fan of Knives with a Mally? I don't care. Everything gets fucked up. That's six damage to everybody. And if I have minions on the field, they pick up the slack. Or if I have a eviscerate on the field, it picks up the slack for me. Um, it's a really good deck. You just have to learn the deck. Not to rush, because at first I couldn't get past rank 17, because I was rushing all my combos and cards. Now, I don't do anything to turn 4. I'm not joking. I don't do not a damn thing. I will use my hero power, do one attack, make them think you don't have anything. And for, so I noticed the game, depending on what hero you're using, is what heroes you usually go up against. Like, when I use this deck, I rarely, rarely see Warlocks. I rarely see hunters. I almost never see shamans. Shamans, warlocks, hunters, almost never see. Um, and uh, so I use my hero power. Hopefully, I have Defias in the beginning. If I don't. Depending on, like, if they bring out a taunt, I might destroy it with the Eviscerate or uh, um, try to get the Jade Shuriken on it. I use my Shivs at will just because I need that draw card. 
Um, I try to save my preparations no matter what, unless I need Edwin to come out to hold me off, or I, or they have three or more minions on the field, and I need that prep to give me a fan of knives so I can do something else as well. Um, but for the most part, once turn seven hits, if I'm not below ten health. I'm usually not worried because hopefully I have Auctioneer by then or something or Mally's already in my hand. I'm just waiting. Well, if I have Mally in my hand and it's turn 7, I, I'm not worried because usually by turn 9 or 10, I have the game. Um, so, Druid decks, you're going to love them. Mage decks, you're going to love them because you can destroy them because Druids take forever. Even though they ramp, if it's a J Druid deck, they might be waiting um, anything that uh, is waiting for in-game. Hand buff Paladins. <sighs> Before I made this deck, I was a hand buff Paladin. I know how those decks were run. I had three different types of hand buff Paladin decks. I know how they run. Whether it's Murloc, whether it's Divine Shield, whether it's just a regular Gadgetstan um, hand buff deck. I didn't want this video to be this long, so I'm about to shut up. Um... But I love those because they he wants to buff his hand, but he doesn't want to play anything. He wants to wait till he has a Terran at 12-12 or something. And I'm like, okay, that means I get to save my hand. Oh, I got nine cards in my hand. I'll play a counterfeit coin just to have eight in my hand. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Turn eight. Counterfeit coin. Mally. Preparation. Risk rate. Uh, counterfeit coin. Sinister strike. Attack, attack. Goodbye. So, this is the deck. Have fun. It's your favorite game ninja, Dark Shinobi. I know it's been a long time, but unfortunately, over and out.